Welcome back to Think Cosmos, where we ponder the universe's deepest secrets and wonders. On February 13th, 2023, a single subatomic particle silently streaked through the Earth's crust, unnoticed by almost everything it passed through, until it triggered a faint flash deep beneath the Mediterranean Sea. That flash was picked up by the Cal M3 Nit Neutrino Observatory, an underwater telescope off the coast of Sicily. What scientists recorded that day would soon be confirmed as the most energetic neutrino ever detected. A record-shattering event designated Kaima 3 213A with an energy of approximately 220 petelectron volts, PEV. That's 220 quadrillion electron volts. 20 times more energetic than the previous high water mark of OTAN PV. And a billion billion times the energy of the photons that make up visible light. The detection stunned the astrophysics community and opened a brand new window into the violent high energy corners of our universe. To understand why this is so monumental, it helps to grasp what neutrinos are. Often called ghost particles, neutrinos are incredibly small, neutral, and nearly massless particles that rarely interact with matter. Trillions of them pass through your body every second without you noticing. I, most come from mundane sources like the sun or nuclear reactors. But a tiny fraction originate from extreme cosmic phenomena. Supernovae, black holes, neutron stars, or perhaps even more exotic engines of destruction we haven't identified yet. Detecting them is like fishing in a black hole with a blindfold on. The Kiyama 3 net cubic kilometer neutrino telescope was designed precisely to look for those rarities. Located at a depth of 3,500 meters, its arrays of photomultiplier tubes are mounted on vertical lines anchored to the seafloor. When a neutrino happens to interact with a water molecule, it creates a charged particle, often a moon, that travels faster than the speed of light in water, which is slower than in a vacuum, emitting Cherenkov radiation in the process. This blue light is what the telescope captures. In the case of Kilometer 3 230,213, that flash of Cherenkov radiation was unusually bright and clean. It traced the path of a moon whose energy was estimated to be 120 PE, implying that the original neutrino must have carried 220 PE when it collided with a nucleus in the seawater. It wasn't just energetic. It was surgical in its track. To put this energy in perspective, 1 PFE kelk 1,000 trillion electron volts. The Large Hadron Collider accelerates protons to about 6.5 teriectron volts. TF. This neutrino had roughly 30,000 times more energy than that. It's roughly equivalent to the kinetic energy of a baseball flying at 100 kilometers h packed into a particle with near zero mass that raises a powerful question. Where did it come from? Scientists are currently weighing two leading possibilities. The first is that the neutrino was emitted from an active galactic nucleus, possibly a blazer, where supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies shoot out jets of particles moving near the speed of light. These environments can act as natural particle accelerators, vastly more powerful than anything we can build on Earth. Plasas have previously been implicated in lower energy. Neutrino events, including one traced to TXS 50656 in 2017. But Team M3, 230,000, 213A was far more energetic than those. The second possibility is that this neutrino is cosmogenic, a product of ultra-high energy cosmic rays, protons or nuclei, interacting with the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang that fills all space. When a cosmic ray collides with a CMB photon, it can produce pions, which then decay into neutrinos. These cosmogenic neutrinos were theorized in the 1960s, but remain elusive. If Kilometer 3 230,213 is one, 
It will be the first strong candidate ever recorded, and a massive win for decades-old predictions. Researchers immediately turned to data from radio telescopes, gamma-ray observatories, and space-based X-ray telescopes to look for clues in the sky along the neutrino's path. Several active black holes were noted in the region, but so far, no smoking gun. The challenge is that the neutrino passed through light years of space, billions of stars, and thousands of galaxies, and it remained unscathed. That's what makes neutrinos both frustrating and powerful, unlike photons or protons, which get absorbed or deflected by magnetic fields. Neutrinos travel in straight lines from their source. If we can trace their origin, they can serve as pure cosmic messengers, revealing astrophysical processes that light cannot. The Kalim Threna team emphasized that this is a once-in-decades event. It builds on Isocube's 2013 detection of the PAV scale, BERT, and Ernie Neutrinos, but exceeds both in magnitude. The detector's ability to reconstruct the particle's path with arcminute precision also shows how neutrino astronomy is entering a golden age. With more powerful instruments, like Isocube Gentwu, Baikal GVD, and the expansion of Kiamen 3 nit scientists are optimistic that we'll soon move from detecting neutrinos to doing real sky maps with them unlocking a new cosmic layer that photons can't reveal. Broader implication. This ghost particle might be the first breadcrumb on a trail that leads to new physics, such as violations of Lorentz invariance or unknown interactions beyond the standard model. Or it could just be an outrageously energetic outlier. A cosmic lottery win flung at us by a black hole halfway across the universe. Either way, it reminds us of something profound. The universe is still full of surprises, and sometimes the rarest, quietest particles carry the loudest messages.